Hey everyone, welcome to a video in which I talk about suicide. I have already done this video once, but uh, for some reason it won't give me enough space for me to save it so that I could upload it to YouTube. And because of that, uh, I accidentally deleted it and now I have to do the video again. Uh, thank you, thank you very much uh, for doing that. So I have to do this entire video again, but it uh, gives me a chance to you know, talk to you. For the first time, technically, to you, I don't know how I said that. But basically, this video is about uh, suicide, as you know by the title. Uh, so, let's go straight into it. This one guy, sorry, <sighs> bit of uh, hair in my finger. Uh, one uh, person who I know, basically, they messaged, uh, I asked them if they could help me, and they said yes. They wanted to win it, remain, remain anonymous for the simple fact that, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, no, I don't know, uh, I'm just a bit uh, flabbergasted, you could say, but uh, the basic of the reason they wanted to wait, remain anonymous is because uh, the soul is personal to them and they didn't want other people knowing about it, simple as that, do you know what I mean, and I, to I totally, and totally agree with that, so, for all intents and purposes, this person's you know, anonymous. But uh, basically, what they said is that from the age of uh, 16, they've gone through terrible, you know, stuff uh, from the family, you know, the family so got divided on his shoes, he started fighting a lot more. Because of that, uh, his family, you know, started to go for dog bark, you dogs. But if, uh, you know, if their family started to go what, you know, further into the person or basically uh, the father. And because uh, uh, the father went deep into depression, you know, sort of made this person of mine, you know, go like that too. Uh, along with, uh, along with, you know, stress from his sons and stress from friends, you know, because you know how school can be for people, you know what I mean? high school uh, particular but this person year 11 all this stuff so culminated into one event in which he went home he got a knife and held it right there I can't show you but like right there on his wrists and uh, he thought should I do it? should I do it? he didn't for the simple fact that I thought he was selfish he thought he was selfish and uh, ignorant to the people around him he thought that uh, if he did this you know, his friends, his family would uh, be in such turmoil, you know what I mean? To the point in which they might actually do it themselves. So, he he, uh, he uh, didn't do it and he's very glad for it. The simple fact that his life's improved. He was able to help his mother through uh, a deep time in which the grand, uh, grandma died, in which I was terribly sorry for. But, uh... S suicide can happen in many forms, like bullying, being left alone, you know, not getting help, feeling alone in school, just being pushed out, you know, all the stuff it feels like you're only one. You could be in a room uh, filled, filled of people and you can still feel alone. That's what it's like. But uh, with that comes my story. My story, like when I was uh, 13 and 14. I was 13 or 14 and uh, it happened when my uh, cousin died, stayed up there for a weekend, she was very beautiful, nobody would ever want to hurt her and all that, uh, nobody would ever want to hurt her, do not do anything to this place, uh, she was a very nice, she was very, very do not nice, uh, she shouldn't have been taken from the world, but she did, which was a pound where an overdose, uh, overdose on drugs, what she might have done, may, uh, probably a suicide, you never know. But, uh, I, I will never know. But, uh, basically, because of this, my family started to dwindle, my mum, you know, and my dad just started to drift apart. Sorry for that. Uh, but, uh, because, uh, because of that, uh, 
my uh, family got drifted further and further and further apart to the point in which they didn't want to be together. Sorry for that sound, and it has to fucking happen now. Uh, it's fucking dying now. But because uh, of that, my family drifted, drifted further, further apart until the point in which. Oh, sorry. Until, until the point in which uh, I wanted to commit suicide. I didn't. I'm not selfish enough. I didn't want to leave my mum, my dad, my friends, even my dogs over there. Just staring at the door. Oh, Jesus Christ, I've got things under my eyes. Anyway, not like a makeup tutorial. <laughs> but, uh. Sorry if I'm not taking it serious, right? But I am a serious yam. But, uh, suicide, they'll do it. It's, uh, it's easier, obviously, said, uh, it's easier said than done. Uh, uh, suicide will still happen wherever you are, how much you ever do. But if I can stop one of you, one of you, from doing it, then uh, I'll be happy. I will say I was a bit happy with that. Now I'm trying to cut it down shorter so that I can upload it in faster time. Say so, so it's all you dudes out there. All you Pred fans, you know, all two of you. But uh, because uh, suicide is serious about that, uh, I've wanted to do it. I've wanted to cut my waist. I've wanted, you know, to do stuff which would uh, work in my suicide. And... Uh, I just want to say, don't do it. Bullying, being left alone, not getting enough help in school, getting walk words, family, uh, families pushing you out, certain people not acknowledging what you're saying can all lead to the cause of suicide. So please, and I urge you, please do not do it. Seek something, seek me. If if you actually want, seek your parents, seek an actual doctor, uh, or you know, a therapist about this stuff. You know what I mean? Don't just go through with it. You have so much. Uh, you have so much to live for. Anyway, that's it for the video. I just wanted to mention that. If it was all over the place, I'm deeply sorry, but I tend to go on once myself, so sorry. Anyway, thanks for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, see you next time, which will be a fall outfit, hopefully. But, uh,. If you if you actually want to see more serious topics like this, I'll be happy to oblige. So anyway, bye. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's